Welcome to the first episode of Project Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Fudge. And if you're watching this, you fall into two camps. Camp one, you already know who I am. Or camp two, you have no idea who I am. So I'm just going to spend about 10 minutes explaining who I am, what this podcast is going to be about, so you have a better understanding as we move forward. So this is being recorded in early January. So 2020 is behind us. And 2020 is kind of like a broken pencil for some. It's pointless. So let's move on and let's get better. Today's um, podcast uh, sponsor is actually um, brought to you by my mother-in-law's cooking because real G's move in silence like lasagna. If you liked either of those two comments, subscribe to the podcast. Moving forward, let's talk about fitness. Fitness is the only investment you can make in your life where you are in control of the amount of return you get. Your life is a story and the story is characters. Stories have settings, stories have plots, they have conflict, they have some form of resolution. And I know what my story looks like to this point. I don't know what my final chapter of my story looks like, but I hope in the final chapter, it says things like, I left the planet better than I found it. Or more importantly, it says, I made a valuable contribution to the fitness industry. So where did my story start? My story might be similar to yours. I was actually a New Year's resolution guy. So in January, when I was about 12 years old, my family got a gym membership and we all started going to the gym to better our health. So early on, I did what every 12 year old young boy does. You want to look better to attract someone or maybe increase your skill set at sports. So what did I do? I went into the weight room five days a week and I did biceps. But I couldn't go into the weight room on Saturdays or Sundays because I wasn't old enough. I could go Monday to Friday because my dad would go with me. But on the weekend, he said, you got to you got to figure it out. Three of the most impactful words that shaped who I am today. So I went to the gym and I said, I want to work out on the weekend. They said, you're not old enough, but if you take this, this certification course, you'll be allowed to go in by yourself. Essentially it was a personal training course. So the first course I ever took, I was 12 years old and I was hooked. I was able to work out on a more regular basis. I was able to work out by myself. And I saw the changes that it made on my body physically and mentally. And then over the years, a lot of things got better for me. Even my direct impact on the way I would work at school was curated by what I was doing in the gym. The harder I worked in the gym, the better I could better myself. And the same thing ended up happening with other aspects of my life, whether it was sports, relationship, education, working jobs. I saw the carryover immensely. And then I said, I want this to happen to other people. So I started working in the industry after high school, when I went into college and then I went into university, I got a handful of certifications. I started off working as a strength conditioning coach for about seven university teams. And that was my bread and butter in the early days. I then transitioned into the personal training world. And the personal training world was a little different than working with athletes. You are now working with people who are significantly more vulnerable. They sometimes don't know where their knee or their ankle are. These are people that you're going to create different relationships with because you're going to be spending a lot more time with them. I've been a personal trainer for about 15 years now where I've been getting paid for it. I've accumulated over 20,000 hours of practical one-on-one -on -one with people. For me, I've seen a lot. If you can think of someone that would hire a personal trainer, I've probably worked with that type of clientele. Over those years, I've learned a handful of different things, but I didn't learn everything yet. The beauty of working in the fitness industry is there's so many different people that you can pull from and gain amounts of knowledge. So that's kind of my story. Let me paint three stories here and see if you fall into one of these categories. Story number one is you grew up playing sports. You were always good at sports. Nothing was too challenging. You're kind of athletic or you were very athletic. And then after high school or university, when your sport career stopped, you went to the gym. The gym was now your new sport but you treated it like a sport. You went in with an objective, whether to put on more muscle, burn more body fat, get in condition or stay in condition from your sporting days. And, and you really were there to look for the most useful information to get the most out of your gym. Story number two. So you grew up maybe really skinny and underweight, or you grew up maybe really overweight and you wanted to lose a bunch of weight or gain a bunch of muscle. You weren't really athletic. You didn't play any sports. You decided to join the gym, not really knowing what to do, but knowing what you wanted to accomplish. So you fumbled around the gym, you, you did a class here or there, you asked a couple questions, 
And then next thing you know, what you started either putting on some muscle mass or losing a little bit of weight, but you're still very confused with a lot of the information that's out there right now. Myths of this, you should eat carbohydrates, you shouldn't eat carbohydrates. So when it comes to exercise, you're a little bit confused. You want to know, you know, what is right, what is wrong. Story number three, you or someone you know had a serious illness. Maybe you were sitting on a thin paper sheet in a doctor's office and the, the doctor informed you you need to take me medication, you know, because you've got diabetes or chronic illness or cholesterol issues, or you've got heart disease or something even more cynical. Possibly you may have even lost someone in your life due to a health-related illness that could have been prevented if they changed their lifestyle. And you don't want that to happen to you or you don't want that to happen to a loved one. If you fall into one of these three stories or one of these three categories, they resonate with you, then this is the right podcast. My reach is only so far, but with the beauty of things like technology and the relationships I've made over the years, this podcast will be decoding the term fitness. We'll be talking about projects, which projects are just planned ventures, usually with a specific goal, something to be accomplished within several steps or stages. We'll be talking about things such as lifespan. How do we live better and longer? So changing lifespan to health span. How can our health span actually be longer? So if you want to learn practical how-tos of things like weight loss, exercise science, some power lifting, strength conditioning, or just how to optimize your time in the gym, then this is the podcast for you. This podcast is going to be a solo show where I will be presenting different topics. We will also have experts in the industry coming in here where I get to quiz them, ask them and have conversations that are meaningful, that give you practical information that you can use. And then we'll also be having Q and A's randomly, just about different topics that we can discuss. And possibly I'll have different friends in my social circle that can come on this podcast and they can talk to me about health related issues. So today is the first day of the rest of your life. And I thank you for choosing that day to spend with me and listen to this. And I look forward to what happens every podcast moving forward. Again, I'm Chris Fudge. And thank you for taking the time to listen today. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this podcast. We're going to be on Spotify. We're going to be on Apple. Anywhere you can download any podcast, that's where you're going to find us. And if you found this informative or you think someone else would benefit from this in the coming podcast, please be sure to share with them. And then lastly, our second episode that will be coming up here will be the following Monday, January 11th, where there'll be a new episode dropped every Monday for the entire year. Our special guest is going to be the intelligent bodybuilder, uh, Ben Pakulski. So please be sure to subscribe now so you can get that first notification for January 11th. Thank you so much and good luck for the rest of 2021. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. If you've learned at least one thing from this podcast and your mission is to help other people, please share this podcast with them. And a reminder, we will be releasing one episode every Monday for the entire year. So make sure to hit subscribe so you get the updated information as soon as possible.